Hi friends, welcome to your weekly video. Before we get started, I do need to give a huge shout out to Keen for sponsoring this video. If you haven't heard of Keen, you have been missing out. They are an online platform that connects you directly to psychics and spiritual advisors 24 seven. Even though I'm psychic and even though I read tarot, it doesn't matter. Sometimes your girl needs outside advice and I love being able to use Keen in a pinch when I feel like I'm in a pickle and I need to get an outside source to support me or guide me or provide me with quick advice in a jiffy. Keen's platform has you connected with vetted advisors and psychics that are available 24 seven. So it doesn't matter where in the world you are, you can always contact one of them for advice and love, career, guidance in your life, whatever it is that you are looking for. Keen has been so nice to our community here that they have provided all new Keen users with 10 minutes for $1.99. You can use this link right here, trykeen.com forward slash Charlene Lizette, or take a look at the link in the description box if you wanna try out Keen yourself. Make sure you take a look obviously at the advisors or psychics that you're using because every single one of them has different fees associated with their services. Keen's platform is super easy to use. Once you log in, get yourself set up. You can go ahead and scroll through, take a look at reviews, take a look at the different advisors that are available online and connect with the advisor that you feel is right for you. Make sure you go try them. Again, the link is in the description box below. It's the first thing, you can't miss it, all right? And now we're gonna get started with your weekly reading. We'll see you there, bye. Hi Leo, happy birthday and welcome to your weekly reading for July 27th to August 3rd. I am Charlene Lozette. If you're new, hello, hi, I hope you click subscribe. If you're returning, a massive thank you to you. As always, a unity of gratitude and adoration to my great queen, the Morrigan, to whom all my work is devoted to. All right, Leo, let's see what's going on for you. I'm gonna drop some crystals that you could use if you are into crystals and you like crystals at home. Um, what, yeah specifically for your birthday season and for Leo season. All right, we got Carnelian. Uh, let me see if I can find you a piece in a minute. I wanna get the, the cards out first. Carnelian, Rose Quartz, uh, Tiger Eye, Red Tiger Eye, Orange Tiger Eye, and Citrine and Pyrite, all right? Those are some crystals that you could use to really tap into that Leo energy. Oh, what is this? Oh, sorry, okay, let's see. The Ten of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, the Tower, the Four of Wands. Whoa, okay. Um, as of right now, I'm not really seeing this tower as a bad thing. Uh, it does feel like it's abrupt, but it doesn't feel like it's uh, malicious. One, two, three, four, five, six. One more. I love that you're showing up in your reading. Oh yeah, okay, I, yeah, all right, all right, all right. First things first, you're on the move this week. Some of you may be making a decision to move homes. Others of you may be looking at purchasing a home, but the desire to um, move um, either through a trip, through travel, uh, through getting out of like one environment into another, uh, that is going to be playing a, a prominent role in your um, in your life this week. The other energy I'm also seeing here as well is your relationship to people, okay? Whether this be romantic or not, there's a big emphasis here on the community that you've built or are building around you, the foundation, the friendships, the romance, um, the career friends, any type of friend really, um, or relationship really, um, is playing a very um, important role in your life this week. Um, I truly have to tell you that for a lot of you that are watching this right now, abundance comes and abundance is here. It's a very prevalent energy for you this week with the 10 of pentacles, okay? It comes really, really fast, but what I'm really picking up here from the 10 of pentacles, the eight of wands straight into the tower and the four of wands is a home change. So either you may get like documentation saying you gotta move out of your condo or your home if you're renting or you're making this decision to buy or you're starting to look at moving from like, you know, place A to place B, city A to city B, country A to country B. There is this very, very quick 
fast forward movement. I truly have to tell you that none of this looks bad. With a ten of pentacles here, there's a lot of happiness, there's a lot of abundance, there's a lot of rooted energy. Uh, the ten of pentacles talks about a legacy left behind. This isn't just like getting ten grand in the bank one day and then it's all gone. It's about like a, accumulation over time that amasses to like inheritance to family wealth, okay? With the Eight of Wands, uh, that energy is moving quickly into a tower moment. Eight of Wands sometimes talks about communication, it can talk about messages, and it can talk about literal travel, but it's fast forward action, sorry, fast forward, fast action forward. Like it's very fast forward movement, okay? With the tower card here, I do have to tell you that this may feel um, very earnest and, and the tower is um, is um, connected to the planet earnest. Earnest is like a shock, it kind of like comes out of nowhere. And that's why I'm saying to you like, maybe something happens to your condo, like there's a fire in the floors above you and you guys gotta evacuate. There's something along the lines of that. I don't think it's gonna be that dramatic, but I mean, for some of you, it could be, right? Um, this is about you needing to to move from certain foundations um, that are no longer solid, that are no longer stable. For some of you, it could even signify the ending of a relationship, but I'm only seeing that for um, for a slight few of you, um, but it could very well be for others of you. I feel like this could be a proposal, this could be like, you know, um, what's it called, eloping, like where you decide to just randomly get married and you're like, oh, we thought we were gonna have a wedding, never mind, okay? Or quickly moving into a relationship as well as a romantic relationship. For some of you, it could be romantic, for others, platonic. This could also talk about quickly getting information in regards to like a contract or documentation because we do have this um, Four of Wands here and the Four of Wands is all about stability, it's all about celebration, it's all about rejoicing, it's all about happiness, it's all about good times, but it's not a long, term good time. It's like a celebration for a particular victory and then we continue to move forward. The reason why I'm talking about like partnerships and contracts is because you did get the seventh house for your astrology card. I'm going to read exactly what it is. It's ruled by Venus and Libra. This is the house of partnerships. Here's where we see the personal relationships that evolve into commitment or cooperation of some sort. Marriage, spiritual union, agreement societies, and business partnerships. I relate, okay? And so I truly feel like you're transitioning from one spectrum to another. So you're single, you're getting into a relationship. You were looking for a business contract, you're finally finding it or signing it. I'll get you in the next reading, Raven. I can't open the door right now, okay? With the chariot here, the king of wands, I honestly, I'm just getting this energy that you are in this very powerful, confident, like I'm the driver of my car seat and you're propelling yourself forward towards a success, towards this victory, towards a celebration. I'm feeling like major transformation is upon you, whether or not this week like completes it with a tie and a bow or a bow and a tie, maybe, maybe not. But for the most of you, you are going to be feeling that energy of being in control, feeling very confident, feeling very charismatic, um, like a business person, okay, or somebody who um, has the ability Ability to conduct business, very sociable, very conversationalist like energy. This is somebody who is very wise and who is very quick on their toes. Okay, the King of Wands is very charismatic, but the King of Wands also knows how to make opportunity come up for him. It's almost like the King of Wands knows when to create something and bring it to him. Okay, um, regardless of whether you're feminine or masculine energy. Okay, um, the chariot talks about you taking control of a situation. We have Cancer energy here too. We have a Aquarius here as well. Lots of fire though, to be really honest. So I really feel like this week may feel like it's flying by, okay? The energy of like boom, 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 go, 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 go. Towards the end of the week, I do see you making plans to move forward. For some of you, you may be leaving some things behind as you propel yourself forward. Again, the water, the travel, this is a card of looking forward and going, okay, what do I need to leave behind because it's not serving me anymore? And what do I need to move forward with? What do I need to do now in order to take myself to the next level in my life? Or where do I need to go? You know, if this city, this province, this state isn't working for me, where do I need to go now? Right? This is really about you planning. The overall energy you got is a hanged man, which is an energy of contemplation, self-reflection. I like to call this card in particular, the card of inaction leads to action. Because the less that you do, the more that you're in contemplation and you observe, then you'll be prepared to make those steps forward that will lead you to the success that you're desiring. Overall though, Leo, I'm really 
seeing a lot of celebration, a lot of good times, a lot of happiness, and you feeling very, very confident in the direction that you're going in, either with your family or by yourself. This is very much a you taking control and taking the reins of your life and leading it towards that 10 of pentacles and that's a beautiful energy to have very confident energy also like i just feel like you're in a very like i'm a badass thank you so much have a nice day more than you normally are like that lion walking through like man i don't know <coughs> maybe you went from like a 120 pound lion to like a thousand pound lion okay that's how strong i'm feeling that you are feeling and showing up this week the mantra card we got is peace i am being of love and i release all negative energy i don't think you're going to be engaging in any type of negativity you're going to turn around and say okay this shit didn't work out okay bye that's it no thank you have a great day see you later alligator right that's going to be your vibe this week you're not going to be tolerating anything less than what you feel is in alignment with your highest energy all right leo this is where we turn into the love reading so as always this is where i say if you want to shop over at starcy jewels and pick up your modern day amulets i create crystal jewelry and i call them modern day amulets i am wearing in anna it's a 14 karat gold chain with clear cords and our new piece Rhea, which is this beautiful piece that has aquamarine a mazanite rose quartz pearls um and this is all about connecting to you and this energy of creativity peace and maternity and when i talk about maternity you know maybe maternity is not the right word but the maternal instinct of creation right the great creator of life that's what this is all about tapping into your creativity your ability to speak your connection to the divine and your love for all all right there's pieces for masculine feminine energies they them on the website take a look at the description box below if you want to shop and pick up your modern day amulets i am wearing a few other pieces on here as well okay Eshel for happiness venus okay let me show you some of the crystals for you this week if you have them at home Home, okay as I said this rose quartz is absolutely one of the crystals I would recommend for you this week I do have on the website Hebe it's a 14 karat gold chain with the rose quartz on it totally strong all of these pyramids too they're going on sale soon as well um okay and what else did I say I said to you citrine so citrine is right here one of our bracelets called Ishel has citrine in it as well pyrite right here okay bastet on the website has pyrite um and carnelian which i don't want to dig in there but it's somewhere in here uh, i just don't want to make all the noise right now okay let's get into your love reading leo let's see what's going on for you this week in love in the, in the kissy kissy face oops sorry okay there she goes that's all right we got attraction did you hear that fast moving card? I feel like that's gonna be, guys, look at this. Guys, girls, things, them, look at that. That's why I just feel like that's your energy this week, okay? Um, attraction, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. This could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek and chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. I did say, I did say, Raven, I'll get you in the next one, babe wait for virgo i did say that i was seeing some of you transitioning in your romantic life and that's it the two of cups and the moon hallelujah oh my gosh becky okay um yeah uh, some of you literally may be at like a love at first sight kind of energy this week now Stop it. The Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Holy cow. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully to a cops. Oh my God. This could be the one and the moon. My dudes. Okay. The Cancer card, the moon and the chariot. This could be a Cancer that you're coming into contact with. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here and the wheel. Wow. My dudes and dudettes. Listen very carefully. If you are single, do not be surprised if the cards and the universe this week, oh, got something in my eye, have in store for you some new love because it's showing up here. I'm going to read the cards as I read the cards. All right, Leo, thank you so much for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. Thank you so much for shopping over at Starcy Jewels and for supporting me however you can. We'll see you on the next video. Make sure you go watch your August monthly. Peace out. See you later, alligator. Bye.